Is it possible to have seven divine appointments in a day? Let me tell you how right here on The Bearded Prophet. So it was Friday and I was about to go on an outreach and share the gospel with folks and a friend called me and needed help. I went over to his house and while I was there I looked out the window and I saw a work crew that had just poured a fresh foundation for the home. They'd finished their work, it was early afternoon, and they were taking a break and just kicking back, having a few beers. I said to my friend, hey, let's go share the gospel with them. So I went outside, talked to the whole work crew, it was about eight or nine guys, preached the gospel to them in Spanish. The Holy Spirit came, and I said at the end, if you have given your life to Christ or want to, say this prayer. And I could hear men saying it out loud and giving their lives, and it's a full surrender life. Fast forward after that. A friend invited me to go to a concert by Mattis Yahoo, who's a well-known uh, Jewish guy who performs and sings sometimes about spiritual things. He's had quite a journey. And so while we got there early, start talking to a guy who's just waiting around. Turns out his name is Adam, just like mine. He says, and I'm an atheist. I said, great. We had a really good, fairly long conversation. He even let me pray for him. I just said, hey, if God is real, then let me just pray that he reveals himself to you. And he was open to that. It was a good encounter. And then I had several more encounters, so that's two. Uh, I had, uh, and then after that, I was up at the bar just getting a soda, and uh, a couple guys were with me. It was a long line, and they said, hey, we're just getting water. Can we, you can join in our order. So they order waters, but the bartender gives them bottles of water, and then with my soda, he says it's $7. Now, these guys are young. They're college students, and they were, like, not prepared to pay because they thought it was just a cup of water. Well, I'm like, don't worry, guys. I got it pulled out my wallet, paid for the whole bill. Well, then, of course, you get a little small talk with them. Turns out they're both Jewish, both from college locally, and I was just real bold with them. I was like, well, hey, have you guys ever considered that Yeshua, Jesus, could be the Messiah? And I just shared a few basic truths with them, and I said, you know, you can go read Isaiah 53, and uh, it's worth considering. Is that, you know, did he fulfill what that said? And I said, hey, you know, would you mind if I just said a prayer for you for God to reveal if, uh, if that's who really the Messiah is? And they were a little just sort of shell-shocked, but I had them in the moment because I bought them their, their waters. And they were like, okay. So I said, okay, Lord, you know, come and show them who Yeshua is, who Jesus is, and, uh, you know, come and reveal the truth. And, and uh, that's what I prayed. And so I went away from that. Uh, so that's, we're up to four encounters now. And then after that, I ended up talking to two other young Jewish men who were there, also college age. I had a couple good encounters with them and just shared boldly about Jesus, uh, Yeshua, the Jewish Messiah. And so we're up to six. And I thought I was kind of done for the night. A buddy of mine go out to grab a bite to eat after the concert. And uh, when we're going up to pay our bill, the lady who is uh, checking us out has um, a cross on her neck and like another one that hangs down lower. And I just said, wow, those crosses are really nice. Uh, do they mean anything to you? And she says, yes, yes. You know, I, I love the Lord. I love God. And I said, oh, wonderful. I said, we do too. We're Christians and, you know, we love Jesus. And, and then I said, uh, so uh, where do you fellow? And I couldn't even get the word out. Where do you fellowship? And she goes, oh, but I, but I haven't been in church in, in a few years. And uh, she's like, but I really need to get back. And it was amazing. The conviction just fell on her because here she met a couple other Christians who obviously loved Jesus. And by the end of the conversation, this was a Friday night, she's like, yeah, I know this church in my neighborhood. I got to go there. And I gave her the name of another church as well. And uh, she was like, thank you guys so much for coming in tonight. So there it was, seven divine appointments, guys, in just a matter of hours. This is possible if you're following the Lord. It's not just for me. This is for you. Um, so start asking him. Just start praying for more divine appointments and believing. And st step out of faith, those little steps. Someone's wearing a cross or buy someone a coffee or just be friendly. Just take an interest in people. People want to talk. That's my encouragement for you today. Thank you, God, for those seven divine appointments. I ask you to water and harvest all that seed that was planted in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yeah.